If you have already decided a product that you want to sell on your Shopify store and that product is having variation. For example, you are selling a t-shirt and that t-shirt is available in three sizes, small, medium and large and having three colors, blue, red and gray. So in that case, you need to create a variation for that particular product. So all of your buyer which want to purchase that particular product can go on your listing, select their size, select their favorite color and then they can place the order. And when they place the order, you will notify that for which color and which size that buyer has placed the order. So it will be easy for you to ship that exact order to your customer. So in this short video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can actually create the variation for your particular product on Shopify store. So if you want to learn this process step by step, so keep on watching this video completely till the end without skipping any part. As you can see here, this is my today's sales for Shopify and if I put the filter for past month, you can see that in past month, I got almost $5,400 revenue. And a cool thing about this is that I only focus 40% on paid marketing and 60% on organic traffic. And if you go on my YouTube channel, you can find out these free playlists on Shopify, on Pinterest and on TikTok. And if you watch all of those videos for free on these playlists, you'll be able to know like how I actually generate free traffic from these social media platform on my Shopify store, from TikTok, from Pinterest. And if you watch all of these videos in my Shopify playlist, so you'll be able to know like how I optimize my Shopify store to get more sales, more conversion with less spend. All right, guys. So as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now. And from my browser, I have just logged into my Shopify store dashboard. So here you can see that this is my dashboard. And on the left side, I can see a menu. So in this menu, you can see various tabs like home, orders, product, customer, and analytics. But for now, as we want to make the variation for our product, so we need to click on this product menu. And when we click on this product menu, so I will be able to see all of my products here. You can see that right now on this store, I'm having four products. And if I want to add a new product, so from the top right corner, I can just click on add product, fill in the details like title, description, bullet point, and images, and then publish that product. So that is not a topic of this video. The topic of this video is how we can actually create the variation for a particular product. So from here, you can see these first two products. Number one is shoehorn, and number two is electric foot grinder. And if I zoom a little, so here you can see that the first product is having five variation, but the second product is having no variation. So you can see that I have just clicked on the first product and from here you can see that this product is actually shoehorn. And if I go down, I can see the description here. And if I go further down, I can see images and then I can see this variation tab. So here you can see that as I have already made the variation for this particular product, so I can see all of the variation here. You can see that this product is having color variation and there are five colors available. Red, pink, white, green and gray. So under this variation tab, you need to create the variation. As you can see here, I have already created the variation for the color, but let's suppose I need to create the variation for sizes. So in that case, I can just click on this add another option here. And when I click on that option, it will ask me like what other variation theme I want to add. Like I'm already having the color here. So if I want to add the size, material or style, I can just click on that. So for example, if I want to add size, so I can just select the size and here I can just add the option like what sizes are available. If these are small, medium and large, so I can just type small here and click on add and medium here and then large. So if I just put all of those value and click on done, then I will be able to see those variation here. And on the listing, I will be able to see multiple variation like color and sizes. But for now, I don't need to add the variation for the size. So let's just click on delete and then we can see only color variation. And if I want to add any other color, I can just click on edit here and then I can just add any other color here. For example, I want to add a blue color here. So I can just click on edit and from this color like red, pink, white, green, gray, I can just type blue and then I can just click on done. So in that way you can just add more colors and more sizes. So let's delete it for now. And then when we go down, we can see all of those color variation here. You can see that this is the red color variation, pink, white and green. And here are the prices for all of those variation, $9.99. So if you want to make a particular variation price different, so you can just make that from here. And if I go further right, I can see their SKU and from this edit button, I can just edit this particular variation. For example, if I go above and I just preview this listing on my Shopify store by clicking view here. So here you can see that on this product, I can see multiple variation. Like this is a shoe horn and on the color variation, I can see red, pink, white, green and gray. So for example, if I want to purchase pink one. So when I click on this pink variation, I can see the pink color variation image here. 
but when I click on green variation, so I can see the green color picture comes up. And the same for white and the same for gray. So as you can see here, when a customer click on any variation, he will be able to see the main image for that particular variation so they can see the product and then they can decide which variation they want to purchase. So that is happening because on the backend side, in the product variation tab, I have just put these images. You can see that on the pink color, I have just put the pink image. On the white color, I have just put the white image. And that all happened from there. From that particular part, media, I have just added all of those images and at last I have just added these multiple color images like green, gray, pink and white. So when you add all of those images here, you can just add them in the particular variation from here. So in that way, your listing will be having the variation. So when some of your customers want to purchase your product, they can just select their size and their color from that particular variation. And when they place the order and when you see their order from the order section, so you will be able to know like for which color and for which size the customer placed the order. So now I've already explained you how you can add some more variation on a product that is already having a variation and how you can add some multiple colors and multiple sizes. But what about if a product is not having any variation, so how you can actually make the variation from scratch. So for that example, I can just take this second product which is having no variation. You can see that the first product was having 5 variation and the second product foot grinding tool is not having any variation. So if I want to create the variation for this product from scratch, I can just click on that product and then when I go down, I need to find that variation section from here, this one. And here you can see that there are no variation created. So if I need to create the variation from scratch, I can just click on add option like size and color. So if I just click on add and then I can just select size and then if I just select color, so it will ask me the color option. So here I can just type black, white and green. So after adding variation, if I click on done, I will be able to see these variation created here. You can see that these are the variation, black, white and green. These are the prices and these are the information. So now from here, I can just edit the prices. I can just edit the images by clicking here. If I click on that, I can just select any product image from here, which will be the main image for the black variation. And from the right side, I can just select the SKU or I can just click on edit and I can just edit this particular variation. So after editing that variation, after adding price and image, I just need to go up and from the top right corner, I can just click on save. So that's how it's super, super easy for you to create the variation for your shop of a product so you can actually sell more. So that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye. What we do here is go back, 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 back.